this is Ling Qi, brush painting for beginners from Oriental Art Supply. Um, Huntington Beach, USA. Um, we have, um, we're going to do morning glory today. Um, the two brushes I'm going to use, one is our bubble brush, the other is our small twig brush. The paper we're going to use is our Double Shun A. It's um, a relatively um, budget-friendly handmade shun paper, and uh, it's easy for beginner to use. And then uh, the color, I have our chunk yellow and indigo made a uh, chip made into a green and this is an indigo chip and then best bottle ink for the leaves part And then I have our vermilion chip. May uh, mix it with the um, ink to achieve our brown. So these are for the leaves and twigs. For the flowers, we have the Kiritaki 30, 36 color set. We have three purples here, and we can dish it out right from the. the color palette and so the first I'm going to use is the a purple I think is number 39 and then the second color is number 38 which is more a blue color and then the third the third color is number 37 which is a more reddish color And to finish it up, and I have a yellow, which is number 40. And then I also want to show you how to use our budget companion set to achieve this four color. So we have yellow right here, straight from the pen. So I purposely to put the yellow with the additional space in the middle so I can differentiate which color set I'm coming from. So then in the all these other three, I'm going to mix my own pur uh, purple. So I have all three of them have red. And then I also have a purple in this set. So then I'm adding the purple in my red. So 
So this will be coincide with the straight red, yeah, uh, purple from the Kuritaki set. The second one, I'm going to add some blue to it. And then I add another, some of the blue into this one to come up with the first purple. a little white. A little carmine. So this is my red purple. And then my blue purple is here. I had the red and the blue into our, then I add the original purple from the palette set. So this is how I achieve the three color with the 12 color companions. All right. <clears throat> so my bubble brush. The thing great about this, this brush is short and stubby. So it's easy to control for the shape. But the trick is that you can't load the brush color too deep. Then you won't have that transparent look. So I'm going to lo load my first purple in this. And then um, second purple. And blend in the middle. So I'm going to add a little red purple to the tip. And then I rinse the tip off. Light purple for the holder. Then I'm going to use a little yellow on my tip for the center. Flower. All right, and then I'm going to do the bud. So I have first purple, add a second purple. And 
and I rinse the tip off and add a little yellow to it. Okay. And then um, underneath, I'm going to do a back side of the flower. So I have first purple, second dark purple. Then the tip with the dark purple with a little red purple. And then So this is the back side. And then we're going to do the leaves. We have green, indigo, and ink. So I'm using the same brush, the bubble brush. Load the yellow with the indigo and then the ink tip the ink This side this is my brush and color going and indigo my ink This side, I have another leaf. All right, so I'm going to connect this. First, I'm going to load with my um, twig brush with the green, a little bit blue, and then make the holder. And then with the same brush, I have the blue on, but this time I'm going to add um, a little blue, uh, green with the brown. This is a vermilion with the
So then I'm going to use some ink for my hot paper. Just for feel. Alright, and um, happy painting. See you next time.